You know, I'm sure someone's happy there's a new Summer Fina. But honestly, how can you be happy when there's still no Summer Wilhelm? Summer Sephiroth! Summer Riser! Vacation Voyager Fina's Trustmaster reward is her clothes. Though it can only be equipped onto girls, it does have good magic and a Spirit Killer Plus attached to it. Spirit Killer is relatively rare, so this could be nice. Her Super Trustmaster reward is her jacket. This must-have summer item was unfortunately released during the winter, but it's still an accessory of good magic, has a bit of fire resistance, the power to kill humans and spirits by choking them with the jacket probably, and when equipped onto this Fina, it gives her 500 extra magic. Onto her active abilities. Fina has access to several magic spells. Full Life and Isanaga can be cool and useful, while the rest of her black magic can be awakened to stage 3. The magic spells near the bottom are stronger than those at the top. Magic Boost gives her a small 50% stored magic buff. As you use the ability repeatedly, the buff stacks, potentially going up to 300%. Elemental Burst, Water, gives her a 150% water amplification buff. Fill Limit Burst, fills her Limit Burst. Sparkling Joy deals flexible magic damage that chains a Boating Shrike, and inflicts a 120% lightning and water in peril. Let's have lots of fun! Let's your team have fun while killing fairies! The fun has just begun! Gives your team a re-raise and recovers 500 MP. For whatever reason, this ability is so broken that it just had to be limited to once per battle. Charging Heartbeat boosts Venus Lightning and Water damage by 30%, her magic by 250%, boosts her limit burst damage modifiers, and gives her a 300% stored magic buff. Passives. But for Trustmaster Reward or Super Trustmaster Reward equip, Vina gets 500 extra magic. She's also got 6 strong killers, a big booster of limit burst damage, and a nice limit burst regen. She prefers to carry a single weapon, meaning half the captain to chain limit boost. Her normal attack has been changed to attack, dealing damage and filling one tenth of her limit burst gauge. At EX plus 2 she gets Warring Spirit. At EX plus 3 she gets 500 magic. She also has a nice spread of elemental resistance, with everything at 30%. Let's look at her limit burst. Inflicts a 25% bow imperil, a 130% water imperil, boosts her limit burst damage by 200%, and use water magic damage. As a super limit burst user, Vina has access to Magic Shift, which automatically boosts her magic by 250%, her limit burst damage by 200%, and fills her limit burst gauge when the super limit burst is ready to go. The super limit burst raises the bone peril to 30%, the water imperil stays the same, and the water damage turns into more damage. Let's rank brave abilities. I'd prioritize Thrilling White Sand Beach to increase the modifiers of her magic spells, and Let's Have Lots of Fun can help her kill fairies. Time to make a damage rotation! On turn 1, cast Fill Limit Burst and double cast Magic Boost. On turn 2, use her Limit Burst. On turn 3, quadruple cast Flood. On turn 4, cast Elemental Burst, Water, Flood, and Charging Heartbeat. On turn 5, use her Super Limit Burst. Stick with Flood from here, charging Magic Boost 2 turns before her Super Limit Burst. So, EX Sue? As a Super Limit Burst user, Fina automatically benefits from additional EX Awakenings. Unfortunately, an instant limit burst isn't as amazing here, given that her limit burst isn't particularly special. Her Super Trustmaster reward is pretty good, having good magic and niche but uncommon killers, and is definitely best for Fina herself. EX plus 3 is just stats, and expensive, and turns her rotation into store to super limit burst, which kind of kills the point of her magic spells. So how good is Vacation Voyager Fina? She's good, but her flaws are pretty palpable. Most obvious of them is being element locked to water, and speaking of which, I think we got something similar last winter. Still, with a 150% amplification buff, access to store, and a pretty strong damage modifier, Venus in a great position. It helps that water is one of the most supported elements, though of course that means she faces off against a monster that is Ultimate Regina and a Meteor Man. As far as her magic spells go, they've got potential of support from Sakura or Sakura Blue, though you're nevertheless better off sticking with her limit burst. Pairing her with Sage for Thumbaga is another option, but it's not a great one. The small healing tools are nice given she's not listed as a healer, but all the same it's more of a side than a draw. The fairy killer is nice given the lack of fairy killers, but being locked to one of two elements might not help. Overall, despite being good, Bean is pretty niche, which is a bit unfortunate for such a cute CG limit burst. Thanks for watching, and if you liked this video, leave a like and subscribe. Comment below if you summoned Vacation Voyager Fina. Why are we at the bottom of an ocean? <laughs>